We are once again back on the server where myself, Jelly, and Josh throw the crap out of each other. And of course, today, I get back on Josh a little bit. Now, I'm not gonna say too much, but this is probably the best troll I've ever done. If you wanna play on the server that we play on for the trolling series, all you gotta do is type in play.hoaxmc.com, add it to your server list, and when you join, you can type slash Craner and go directly to my house and follow live what's going on. Anyway, the like button today is running around like crazy. I think it's trying to troll you guys. Look at how fast it is. Whoa! Try to hit it. If you can do it, it hasn't trolled you. Did you do it? Good job, guys. Anyway, let's get right into the video. Welcome to Craner's Crib. Step right in, guys, and check out my awesome place. We got flowers in the front, of course, as you do. If you enter the door, you will first notice this awesome painting. Now, mind you, I don't have a house, so <clears throat> I stole it. Yeah, if you don't know what happened, I sold my house uh, to Josh. Here's a clip. By turning to the next page, you accept this offer. Oh, no. <laughs> now, I don't regret it anymore, honestly. I don't regret it because my new crib is... It's not the same. I gotta be honest with you guys. Look, it might be cozy enough and all, but I need a real shower. This hole in the freaking ground doesn't cut it anymore. Look, it's literally reaching up here. Somebody could just jump right into my house from my shower. I wanted to act like I was enjoying life in my dirt hut, but honestly, guys, I'm really not. Now, I might have sold my plot to Josh, but... <laughs> I have an idea. You know how Josh basically has the biggest house I've ever seen in Minecraft? Yeah, that's his house. And last episode, I checked it out and there's a lot of empty space in there. If Josh isn't gonna use all that empty space, then why don't I use some of that empty space? I mean, look, there's so much room. There's no way one man could fill up all of this space. Now, this might be kind of crazy, but I think it would be genius. He bought my house gave me diamonds and gold <laughs> and then i end up just living inside of his without him knowing that's the plan i think that is so genius look all it requires is for you guys to not tell him about it okay i've scouted out his house and i think i know exactly where i want to live please be quiet about it okay so uh, let's pack up my house and uh, let's see if i can actually find a place in there that i want to live and um, i guess the only thing i really need to bring is yeah, I'll, I'll bring my painting, I guess. And um, also the beds. Um, yeah, that's about it. Everything. Well, the chest is empty. As I said, I don't have anywhere to live. Why would I have stuff in my chest? But before we move, of course, I need to make sure that I'm bringing everything I need because I might not be able to exit again. I mean, Josh is probably going to discover me if I keep walking up and down the elevators, right? So let's get a bunch of materials and let's move right on in there. Shovel, 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 shovel. <laughs> I'm an idiot. What the heck is going on over at Jelly's? Do you guys know what's going on over there? Let me know down in the comments, please. And... I'm not even gonna ask any questions. Ooh, we're actually also gonna need some stone and stuff. We're not gonna be able to leave that place for a while, guys. For all I know, he probably has, like, security cameras and all kinds of crazy crap. So, uh, let's get, let's get a lot of... St Ooh, iron. Nice. A few moments later. And that should be good. Okay, let's go to Josh's house and do it quickly. Because if he locks on and sees me in his base, he's gonna know something weird is up. And even worse, if he sees where I'm living, man, he's probably gonna throw me out or something. So I believe that the flaw that I was looking at <laughs> from my third hut when I was thinking about moving into this mansion, I believe that flaw was like pretty high up. So let's go to the elevator, which is here. So this is the first floor. Okay, so this is offices. Obviously, that's not gonna work. So let's go up one more floor. No, this is the penthouse apartment. I can't live in here. Up one more floor. I think we're almost there. This is the storage place. I'm not gonna live in a storage place, okay? I would rather go back to the third hut then. And up. And here it is. Look at this. This floor is under development, which means that nobody is currently living here or planning to live here yet. So I think we would be able to maybe live in here for a while, at least until it's not under construction anymore, which I don't know when that is, but it could take forever. 
Okay, we just gotta make sure that we cover this up so it goes like that and that. <laughs> this is so perfect. Um, there's already a lot of light in here, which I appreciate. Thank you so much, Sloco Worldwide Incorporated Corporation. But let's just remove them for now. We don't really need them right now. And the last one. Perfect. Oh, it's dark in here. I don't want any mobs in here. Holy crap, I'm scared. Okay. Hmm, how are we gonna do this? I do have a little bit of an idea. Since I'm so used to my third hut and the outside world, and I'm not gonna get much of that up here in this tower, why not bring the outside inside? Okay, hear me out. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy. We're just gonna plop down a bunch of dirt inside. <laughs> Of his of his house, you know, he's not gonna notice now obviously to make it even more nature We're also gonna have a couple of trees up here because what's nature without trees? <sighs> I Know I'm weird. Okay. Just let me be weird. Oh, you know, what would be really nice as well having like a little uh, What do you call it like a little creek running through my beautiful base just like this? I also took some of these from Pigtown, don't tell them, but I think those look good if we, like, place them somewhere, you know? It makes it feel like a little farm area. That all oh, looks so cozy, dude. That's so great. Now, I know you guys are thinking, Craner, where are you gonna put the house? I think I'm just gonna build it right here. <laughs> Two hours later. Okay, now we just do this all the way over here, and like that, and there we go! Oh, actually, nope. And... <laughs> There we go. We now have a roof on our beautiful farmer's house on the top floor of Sloco Worldwide. <laughs> this is genius, dude. I honestly love my house. Oh, wait, actually, let's bone meal the trees as well. And there we go. Come on. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Ooh. Yes, <laughs> this is so good. Man, this already looks so much more peaceful, huh? Now, what is a farmer's house without a little bit of wheat growing? All right, maybe put some more around. It just gives it a wholesome feeling, you know? Like, I'm growing my own crops up here. A little bit over here as well. And the final touch. There we go. Okay, we of course need a door as well. Oh, crap. Okay, messed that one up. <laughs> Bing. There we go. Awesome. And my two beds. Awesome. Dude, this is starting to look good. All right, there we go. The sand is cooking and we're almost done. Just some final touches. Definitely need my painting somewhere. There we go. Just like my third hut. Lanterns. Oh my god, this is so good. We need some more yellow carpet in here. We'll just place some right here on the bed. And the windows. <laughs> Double windows. <laughs> so dumb. Dude, this looks awesome. I'm so happy. So Jaws thinks... That he got our plot for free, huh? Well, no, actually, he gave us diamonds. But I got diamonds for free because I sold in my plot and moved into his plot. Perfect. Home sweet home, guys. This is absolutely genius. <laughs> now, remember, whatever you do, don't tell Josh about this, okay? Deal? Thank you. Now, I'm gonna need to make some sort of secret way to get in here without anybody knowing. Okay, let me go back to my old house real quick and get- I think I left the piston and some stuff. Let me go get it. Oh, I kind of do miss you a little bit, house, but it's for the best. Trust me. Okay, now it should be- Okay, there it is. Oh, dang, I had a lot more than I thought. All right, well, that's definitely enough. Let's head back home to- Well, uh, Josh's home. Now my home. I'm confused. Home sweet home. It's so weird to say that. Hey, Susan, don't tell anybody about this, okay? No? Oh, Susan, I might have to kill you. Going up to my home. Going up again. And it should be here. Perfect. Okay, so this should be a pretty easy setup. All I need is for it to, like, go into that. Now, if I do that, it's going to push it. Um, Actually, I'm not that good at redstone. It, um, Okay, no, this is not how you do it. I'm going to have to use my brain. 2,000 years later. So if I just put this here, extend it, pull it back. Now... That's gonna work, and let me show you why. See, I don't fit now, but if I just go and grab some wood and make a trap, a uh, trap door like that. Now, I don't know if you guys know about this, but if you pl place a trap door here and then close it on yourself, look, you start crawling, and that's how I'm gonna get out. Real sneaky. Um, it's kind of hard getting back in. Haven't thought about that one yet. And if we don't want to be discovered, we open this one up and we close this off. And there it is, my perfect hideout. <laughs> Just thought he got us, but we got him right back. 